Hey guys and welcome to vlog number two. This week, as you might have guessed by the title, is my first week as a full-time vlogger and YouTuber so I thought it would be a good opportunity to vlog it so that you guys can see what I get up to. I don't know if this is going to be a normal week um, because I've got a lot of meetings, I've got a lot of things going on which I haven't been able to do over the past few weeks and months at work so I've crammed a lot in this week so it's going to be a busy one. I was playing around on the settings on my camera earlier so I'm really sorry if I look a bit yellow, I look a little bit like a Teletubby in the viewfinder so hopefully I can edit this to look normal but yeah we're still figuring these things out. So today is Monday and I think today is going to be the most boring day of the week, starting off on a good one. Um, but I'm actually about to head back to Gloucester, I'm going to meet my mum and the dogs and we're going to drive to Gloucester together to visit our accountant because changing jobs I need to sort out all the tax and all that kind of really boring stuff. But I thought seeing as I was going to vlog the whole week that I'd take you along with me today. So I've just come into my soon to be vlogger office room because I just wanted to show you my newly tidied makeup collection. So this table here is usually absolutely a pigsty, just rammed full of products. And on my Snapchat yesterday, I don't know if you saw it, um, username is Josie LDN, like my Instagram if you're not following me on Snapchat. But basically yesterday, it was Sunday, and I was in a really productive but didn't really know what to do mood, so I basically tidied out all of my makeup, I tipped out everything onto the floor, and got rid of loads and loads of duplicates. I had some makeup in there, which I probably had since I was about 16, if not earlier, so I chucked out loads and loads of old makeup, which was such a cleansing and refreshing experience. I'm really glad I did it. So now I'm just going to switch the camera around. So now I just have this moody drawer with all my brushes on top and a few things which are just too pretty to hide, like my Erin body moisturiser, and then I have lip balms, lipsticks, eyeshadows, this is mostly concealers but a few additional lip glosses I didn't have room for anywhere else. And then we've got mascaras and crayons. And this is the drawer of things that I want to use more often. Then in this drawer down here, this drawer I used to not be able to shut so I'm really really pleased I can now shut it. And this has got the majority of my makeup in it, things which I still use on quite a regular basis. So everything else is in there. And this drawer is mostly skincare. I've got a few primers and serums, face wipes. And then I also put all my mini perfume samples in there because I thought it was really useful to have them. Like when I was at Vise Festival over the weekend, I didn't want to take a whole perfume, so I just took a few little samples with me. Outfit of the day is a relatively chilled out one because, as I said, I'm just going to Gloucester with the dogs. So I don't want to wear anything too fancy. Stripy top, absolutely pretty much live in this top. It's from Jules and really, really love it. Super comfy and I really like the colours as well. My jeans are from Boohoo. I was actually really pleasantly surprised by the quality of these. I'd never made a Boohoo order before, but really, really like them. They're very tight, I have to say. Like, if you are between sizes, then go a size up because these are extortionately tight. I have to do like little plies in the morning to make them fit me. And then my shoes. These are Vans. It was the Office by Vans collaboration in like a pebbly snake print, which I really, really like. So I also wanted to quickly show you my makeup. I can't really get the lighting right on my camera today, so hopefully you can see it all right. But basically on my eyes, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I'm using the Clarins Ombre Matte Eyeshadow in the shade 08 Heather, which if you saw my video, which hopefully went up on Sunday if all things went to plan, I mentioned this and that I was really keen to try it, but I hadn't used it yet. And I used it for the first time this morning, and I have to say it's a really lovely shade. It's quite a light, very, very light purple, but more of an everyday purple, quite browny as well. I'd say it's almost got a bit of like a 90s kind of shade to it. I haven't worn blue or purple eyeshadow since I was about 16, so not that I was 16 in the 90s, that would make me really, really old. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really, really liked it. I thought I'd just show you because I mentioned it in the video and I told you that I would let you know how I got on with it and I really like it. But anyway, I'm just going to finish packing my handbag and head to the train station. Mum's going to pick me up from working and then we're going to drive down to Gloucester, so I shall catch you a little bit later. to Gloucester, we've been driving for about a couple of hours now um, from Woking and we've just about hit the countryside, we're stuck in a bit of traffic at the moment, I think we're probably stuck behind a tractor or a potato factor factory. If you look in the back behind me, there's a little boy, that's Lulu and Coco, hello Coco. 
they've both been snoring the whole way here so we're gonna have to wake them up in a little bit because we're just about to get to the accountant so we're going to go and do all the boring things and then I think we're gonna head for a pub lunch somewhere so I will take you along with me to that one. Well we've definitely arrived in Gloucester. Hello! And they've even got little kennels for the calves. Cute! Meow. house after what feels like forever of driving. We've done probably about five hours in the car today. Two hours to Gloucester, one hour just tootling around Gloucester, getting to the accountant, and then two hours back to Surrey where I'm at now at Mum's house. Um, so I'm just doing some emails, just having a nice cup of tea. I really annoyingly spilt water all in my handbag. Luckily my laptop's alright, my camera's alright, but my phone is acting like the middle button is just completely stuck down. It's constantly on Siri and no SIM card, so hopefully trying to put my SIM card in Mum's old phone see if that'll work, because otherwise I don't think I can get by for very long without a phone, so fingers crossed we can sort that out. Um, so I'm just going to do some more emails here now, chill with the dogs for a little bit and then I'm going to head back home, um, just do a little bit more work and see Charlie when he gets back from work. So I decided to cook my favourite winter meal, which is macaroni cheese. It doesn't really look terribly appetising right now, but I'm going to pop it in the oven for it to crisp on top. So I'm sorry the end of yesterday's vlog was a bit of a failure. I ended up going into a massive food coma after my macaroni and cheese and basically just passed out on the sofa while watching Made in Chelsea, so not a very productive evening. Today I am up early again, it's about half past seven on Tuesday morning and I'm all dressed up ready to go because I have a top secret job in East London which I can't really tell you much about but I'm hoping I may be able to vlog a little bit behind the scenes but I don't really know so I thought I would just tell you where I'm off to in case I don't get to vlog a bit later. So another quick makeup update, I tried the new Clinique Chubby Lash for the first time this morning and I am really really impressed. I'd only really done a very quick first impressions over the top of old mascara before but this morning I put it on bare lashes and I'm really impressed. It's just given my lashes, I don't know if you can see, this is no eyelash curler, no eyeliner and I really think it's given a lot of definition, really dark separated lashes so really impressed with the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. A quick outfit of the day for you as well, I am wearing just um, quite a casual grey mild t-shirt from Whistles, I think I probably featured this in my first vlog but I really like it, it just seems to go with everything. Oops. So the necklace and the ring are both from Swarovski, absolutely love these. I just, they're obviously quite dressy pieces because they're full of the Swarovski crystals, but I think because of the rose gold and the silver together, they also make a really nice day jewelry. And this little thing is left over from V Festival, even though I've showered about four times since then, it just won't really come off. The white jeans are just from New Look. I think they are the most skin tight jeans that I own, but I kind of have to wear super skin tight jeans with these boots because these boots, I absolutely love them. They are gray suede, like a dove for gray, from a brand called Ted and Muffy and if you see at the back they've got like a tie up at the back but basically when you buy the boots you have to give the measurements of the widest point of your legs or the widest point of your calf and they create the boots to specifically fit your legs but it does mean that they are super duper tight so with tights they'll be absolutely perfect but with jeans you really do have to wear your skinniest jeans. And my bag, I'm sure you've all seen this bag about a million times before, my Rebecca Minkoff marble tote which I absolutely love.
now I've come to an apartment in North London where the apartment and look fantastic we've got together to do a bit of vlogger pampering and I've just had my nails done by a red carpet manicure which they desperately needed doing so that was perfect timing. I think I'm going to go and get some pizza, some food and then just chill for a little bit before my next event later. So let's go and have a little look around. for you. I know it was kind of a mad panic going from one job to meetings and all that so I hope it wasn't too boring. Hopefully today might be a little bit more exciting. However my diary is also jam-packed today. I have got to head off to Reese uh, which is a hair salon in South Ken Knightsbridge area first. We've got a meeting there but I think we're also getting our hair done hence why I've made zero effort this morning. So I'm about to head off to that now. I am wearing the most autumnal outfit in the whole world basically because if you look behind me, yeah, that is rain and not even the tiniest bit of blue sky or sunshine in sight. So I'm wearing, I'll just show you in the mirror. So yeah, really, really autumnal outfit. I found this gilet in Topshop a couple of weeks ago and I really, really wanted to wear it, but it was just too hot and summery a few weeks ago. But this is the first time it's come out and I really love it. It's got kind of sheepskin, although obviously fake sheep fur. Actually, it's probably not even sheep fur, it's just fur on the inside and then it's cream. This is almost meant to be kind of suede but it's not because it wasn't that expensive um, and blue embroidery. I really like this and then the roll neck which is normally reserved for like deeper stuff this winter but I just wanted to be cosy today. This is from River Island. I need to put some jewellery on. The skirt is black suede. This is from Miss Selfridge and then the shoes. I actually really struggled with what shoes to wear with this outfit. I haven't got my boots down from the loft yet so I've just worn these and these are the ones which I got in the Oasis sale I don't know if you saw one of my haul videos recently but yeah basically picked these up for an absolute bargain from Oasis so that's the outfit of the day and they used the Orbe um, moisturising treatment beforehand which is really really nice so I'm just now walking to a bus stop next stop is Baker Street I've got a lunch meeting at the Natural Kitchen I've eaten there once before and it's really really nice so hopefully that'll be a nice healthy lunch it's absolutely disgusting outside as you can see behind me just raining and generally really gross so I've got my brolly up, my lovely pink benefit brolly and hopefully going to be indoors before too long. Okay, so I completely forgot to vlog at lunch but I basically just had a really lovely lunch meeting which felt more like a couple of girls catching up at the natural kitchen um, on Baker Street and I've now just got to the beautiful Rosewood Hotel near Hoban about to go and have a really nice facial so I'm looking forward to that. I feel like I definitely need a bit of pampering so let's go inside. really lovely facial at the Senses Spa here at the Rosewood Hotel and it's part of their face place um, spa treatment so I had a facial which basically featured some extraction so not wearing any makeup because I basically spent the past half an hour getting rid of all the dirt and impurities from my skin and then I had a vitamin C mask put on as well so really nourished and feeling very clean and fresh at the moment as you can see behind me the interiors of this hotel is literally a blogger's dream marble everywhere really really beautiful so I'm just going to chill here, do a few emails, and then I've got another meeting, got an afternoon tea. Might put a little bit of makeup on ready for that, but yeah, so I'm going to head there now. Hello again. 
So I've just come out of afternoon tea at the Charlotte Street Hotel, which was really lovely. I'm starting to think that this might be the world's most boring vlog because I didn't really think about how many meetings I was going to have this week. But seeing as it's my first week as full-time vlogging, um, I've just had to really cram all my meetings into this one week because obviously I've never been able to do daytime meetings before. And I'm now just on way to a event with Look Fantastic, so it's their 17th birthday and we're having a pampering session at the Joe Hansford Salon um, and then we're going to go out for a little party. my hair refreshed by the lovely Barney at the Joe Hansford salon um, so there's a load of vloggers here we've been invited by look fantastic and we're all just pampering and getting ready ahead of their birthday party which we're about to head off to so I'm gonna go and get my makeup done at benefit because obviously I had it all taken off for the facial so benefit are going to do my makeup um, and then Essie are here doing nails as well so if I've got time I might get my nails done. So I've just had my makeup done by Benefit and it's just made me have the world's biggest shopping list. 